Now, the next question is a 0 0.5. Now, this question is from October, November 2016, paper 22. Right? So, in this question, they are saying that a 0 0.50 gram sample, this is almost similar question, a 0 0.50 gram sample of a group 2 metal. Right? We have a 0 0.50 gram sample of a group 2 metal was added to 40 cm cube of 1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid and this is in excess right so this kind of information is very important in these questions which is which which substance is in excess which substance is ending first what amount of the substance is given what substance is reacting with what chemical right so this is very important information so they're saying that we have uh, some metal from group 2 uh, the mass is already given, right? This is 0 0.50 gram. It reacted with hydrochloric acid whose volume and concentration is already given. And this is equation number one. Metal reacting with hydrochloric acid, we get metal chloride and hydrogen gas. Calculate the amount in moles of hydrochloric acid present in 40 cm cube of 1 mole per dm cube HCl. So we have volume and we have concentration. Just have to solve it for moles so c is equals to n upon v concentration is one number of moles we have to find it out 40 divided by thousand so this would be 40 divided by thousand point zero four or four into ten raised to power minus two so the number of moles of hcl that reacted with metal of group two is 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2 and remember this thing that these moles are in axis right this is axis hydrochloric acid so means HCl will remain at the end of the reaction we would have some amount of HCl unreacted at the end of the reaction so when the reaction had finished the resulting solution when the reaction had finished the resulting solution was made up to 100 cm cube in a volumetric flask right so volumetric flask you know this from your practicals that volumetric flask is used to make dilute solutions so they're saying that when the reaction had finished when the reaction had finished the reaction between metal and HCl the resulting solution now the resulting solution contained this MCl2 chloride and unreacted HCl right this is the because hydrogen gas would evolve so the resulting solution from experiment number one resulting solution from experiment number one from experiment number one would be MCl2 which was made in experiment number one and unreacted HCl and what they're saying is that the resulting solution was made up to 100 cm cube in a volumetric flask so you had taken a volumetric flask let's say this is volumetric flask right this is volumetric flask and this is the volume of this volumetric flask or you can make a hundred cm cube of solution in this volumetric flask right so they're saying that uh, whatever uh, we get from this experiment number one this was added in this was added in this volumetric flask and was filled up to the mark with water so we had made the solution up to 100 cm cube in a volumetric flask right now next a 10 cm cube sample of the solution from the volumetric flask required right you had made the solution uh, what we get from equation one we may we diluted it in a volumetric flask made the solution up to 100 cm cube and then we took 10 cm cube out of it 10 cm cube out of it you can read this thing here that a 10 cm cube sample of the solution from the volumetric flask required 15 cm cube of 0 0.05 mole per dm cube sodium carbonate so we took 10 cm cube sample we took 10 cm cube sample from the volumetric flask and reacted it with sodium carbonate solution right we reacted it with sodium carbonate solution so they're saying that a 10 cm cube sample of the solution from volumetric flask require 15 cm cube of 0 0.050 moles per dm cube sodium carbonate solution for complete neutralization of the remaining hydrochloric acid. 
right i just told you previously that the resulting solution contain the chloride and unreacted hcl so if we react this mixture with sodium carbonate so what would you expect sodium carbonate would react with mcl2 or unreacted hcl obviously it would react with hcl so you made the solution up to 100 cm cube you diluted the solution and took 10 cm cube out of it and reacted that 10 cm cube with sodium carbonate right whose volume is and concentration is given in the question write the equation for the complete reaction of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid so reaction of sodium carbonate with hydrochloric acid this is simple part sodium carbonate Na2CO3 reacts with hydrochloric acid to give sodium chloride we get salt and water and carbon dioxide right and we have to balance this question so this is two moles of NaCl we have two moles of NaCl that means two moles of HCl and now this reaction is balanced right next calculate the amount in moles of sodium carbonate needed to react with the hydrochloric acid in the 10 cm cube sample from the volumetric flask right so we have to calculate the moles of sodium carbonate and they have given us volume and concentration this is the volume and concentration of sodium carbonate we just need to calculate the moles again c is equals to n upon v concentration is 0 0.05 moles x upon volume is 15 divided by 1000 so this would be 15 divided by 1000 multiply by 0 0.05 so point 0, 0, 0, 0.00075 or 7.5 into 10 raised to power minus 4 right so we have calculated the moles of sodium carbonate that reacts with HCl remains from the reaction number 1 right this is not the uh, moles of HCl this is moles of sodium carbonate now the next part is calculate the amount in moles of hydrochloric acid in the 10 cm cube sample 10 cm cube sample that would that reacts with sodium carbonate this you can easily find out from the molar ratios given in equation you can see that two moles of hcl reacts with one mole of sodium carbonate so the molar ratio is one ratio two so whatever is the moles of sodium carbonate the moles of hcl would be double of that right we can say moles of sodium carbonate moles of HCl molar ratio is 1 ratio 2 from equation so if moles of Na2CO3 is 7.5 into 10 raised to power minus 4 the moles of HCl would be double of that so multiply this would be this with 2 this would become 0 0.0015 or 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 right you can just simply write it out in standard form or in decimal 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 3 <clears throat> all right so the next thing is calculate the total amount in moles total amount in moles of hydrochloric acid remaining after the reaction shown in equation 1 now this is very important part this is where students make mistake this is what you have to understand in the previous part you have calculated the moles of HCl in 10 cm cube sample in 10 cm cube sample but this was not the all of the HCl which came from reaction 1 now they are saying that calculate the total amount in moles of HCl which comes from the reaction shown in equation 1 so we have to go back into the question we reacted 0 0.50 gram of group 2 metal with some acid which was in excess right and whatever left at the end whatever HCl left at the end we made the solution up to 100 cm cube in a volumetric flask and then took 10 cm cube out of it so the moles of HCl which you have just calculated this is in 10 cm cube the moles of HCl calculated in the part in part 3 this was 0 0.0015 so this is moles of HCl in 10 cm cube 0 0.0015 actual number of moles which came from reaction 1 that is present in this 100 cm cube right that is present in this 100 cm cube so you have calculated the moles of hcl 
in 10 cm cube. Now you have to calculate the total number of moles which comes from reaction 1, equation 1. And this is present in this volumetric flask. So you took 10 cm cube out of it. The actual means one tenth of the actual volume. 10 cm cube is the one tenth of actual volume. So that means we have calculated one tenth of the actual number of moles. Right? Actual volume was 100 cm cube. You took 10 cm cube out of it. So this is one tenth of the actual volume. So that means the moles you have calculated. This is also one tenth of the actual number of moles. So that means whatever the moles present in 10 cm cube. We can just simply say that whatever the moles present in 10 cm cube, actual moles will be 10 times of it. Right, because the actual volume is 100 cm cube so or you can simply make a relation between them that 0 0.0015 moles are present in 10 cm cube so what number of moles would be present in 100 cm cube we have to find out in 100 cm cube 100 cm cube right so because uh, what remains after the reaction one this is all present in this 100 cm cube so that would be 0 0.0015 multiplied by 100 divided by 10 or we just simply multiply uh, this by 10. So this would be 0 0.015 or 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. So I hope everyone get the idea what we are doing here. First we calculated moles of HCl in 10 cm cube. The sample which we took out from volumetric flask, the actual volume was 100 cm cube. And all the HCl that was remained from reaction 1 is present in that 100 cm cube. You took 10 cm cube out of it, you reacted it with sodium carbonate, you find out the moles present in that 10 cm cube, and then the actual number of moles present in 100 cm cube would be 10 times of it. So that would be 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. All right, now, next part. Use your answers to A and B4. Now, what was A? the moles of HCl, the actual number of moles, right? The actual number of moles that was 4 into 10 raised to power minus 2, n x is moles, right? So the calcul and then we have calculated at what left. So we initially we took at the start we had 4, 0 0.04 moles of HCl. In the start of the experiment we have 0 0.04 moles of HCl, right? This moles of HCl reacted with M. 0 0.04 moles of HCl this reacts with M and what remains after this reaction was we have just calculated it that is 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 this is what remains at the end of reaction 1 so this is A and this is B4 now they are saying Use your answer to A and B4 to calculate the amount in moles of HCl that reacted with 0 0.50 gram sample of M. So what amount of M reacts with, uh, what amount of HCl, what moles of HCl reacted with M? We have starting moles, we have what left at the end. If we can simply subtract it, 0 0.04, this is the starting moles that reacted with M. At the end of the reaction, we are left with 1.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. So, just simply have to subtract it from 0 0.04. So, this is 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2. Alright, I hope everyone knows what, what is happening here. This is the starting moles starting moles of HCl and they already told us in the start of the equation that this is excess it will remain at the end so starting moles and this is what remains this is what remains so what re what moles what number of moles of HCl reacted with M this is 2.5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 right once we subtracted 0 0.04 from 1.5 into 1.5 into 10 power minus 2 from 0 0.04 right so this is the moles of moles of 
एच सी एल रिएक्टेड विथ एम दी मेटल फ्रॉम ग्रुप टू नाउ यूज यूर आंसर टू फाइव एंड इक्वेशन वन टू कैलकुलेट दी अमाउंट इन मोल्स ऑफ एम इन दी पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ग्राम सैम्पल सो नाउ दिस थिंग एंड नाउ एवरी थिंग इज वेरी सिंपल वी नो द मोल्स ऑफ एच सी एल वी नो द इक्वेशन वी नो द मोलर रेशो बिटवीन एम एंड एच सी एल दिस इज वन रेशो टू सो वट एवर द मोल्स ऑफ एच सी एल इज मोल्स ऑफ मेटल वुड बी हाफ ऑफ दैट सो वी नो द मोल्स ऑफ एम एंड मोल्स ऑफ एच सी एल रेशो इज वन रेशो टू दिस इज फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन सो वन रेशो टू सो मोल्स ऑफ एच सी एल वी ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड दिस इज टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस टू एंड इफ यू जस्ट सिंपली डिवाइडेड बाई टू दिस वुड बी पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू फाइव और वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस टू सो द मोल्स ऑफ एम इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू फाइव और इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म यू कैन राइट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन रेज टू पावर माइनस टू एंड the last part is calculate the relative atomic mass of m and identity m and identify m so we know the mass of m this is the mass of m we took this we have calculated the moles so this mass this is the mass of m which is equal to this number of moles so we can say that um, so we can just simply make the ratio here or the relation here is that 0.50 grams of m is equals to 0.0125 moles right so what mass is present in 1 mole so that would be 0.50 divided by 0.0125 and this is relative atomic mass of m is 40 and if we look in the periodic table this is calcium right this is calcium 40 all right so the identity of m is calcium all right or you can just simply solve it by this n is equals to m over mr you get the same answer